Welcome back to another episode of WJAG TV. This week, Battle of the Bites is having a season finale. We'll be ending the year with a review montage, and we visited the Food Comic Festival. My name is Jocelyn Clark. And I'm Maya Jordan. And, and this, this is WJAG TV with your weekly school news. Battle of the Bites is a series where Olivia Duver and Haviva Salts visited the Butt Hut, Dog on Good Barbecue, and Pulaski Heights Barbecue. The countdown is finally over, so they decided to do a recap of the restaurants. Let's check it out. Thank you for joining us on our barbecue adventure and our last episode of Battle, Battle of the, the Bites Barbecue, barbecue edition. edition. Now that we've tried the three barbecue places in our series, we get to compare them now. So let's start with atmosphere. Olivia, what place do you think had the best atmosphere? Okay, are you thinking what I'm thinking? One, two, three, say it. One. Pul yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Pulaski. Pulaski. <laughs> it's the one, two, three. I was just going for it. Um, yeah, that was definitely the best because it had like, it was like quiet and like very pretty and like obviously as the people filming it, it was really easy to get good shots. I also felt that like the hipstery atmosphere like complimented the hipstery food. Yeah. So it was like definitely like, ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, like ooh. <laughs> yeah. And obviously the train tracks outside, it was a really nice area. So like it was nice to hang around outside there. We And we got lucky it was a nice day. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get run over by a train. <laughs> that was a close call. <laughs> Okay, who had the best service? I feel like doggone couldn't necessarily like be in this because it's like it's not that kind of like being served place. Yeah, it's not a sit down restaurant and then the other two were so it's hard to compare this. I guess out between Pulaski and Butt Hut, like I think Pulaski. Pulaski. Yeah, and Butt Hut service was sort of like he was really lazy and he wasn't really ever coming over but like Pulaski was like they were on it. They were really nice. You dropped your spoon and they were like, yeah, they, your were, spoon. they were in it. Food. So we're going to split the food up into categories. So first, who do we think had the best pulled pork sandwich? I think butt hut. I think it was, I think it was definitely doggone because I don't know. It's just so, it's so moist and delicious. I don't know. Why do you think it was butt hut? I don't know because it was kind of like, I feel like the meat also had flavor in it. It has a very porky aroma. I, wa I remember watching my like f the first episode of this, and I remember I rated like Butt Hut so highly, and I feel like I feel like kind of like the other restaurants put out of the water. But I mean, their sandwich was probably the best. Though. Yeah, I, I agree. I feel like you did you <laughs> rated Butt Hut. I was like, that's not gonna last. Um, Who had the best um, mac and cheese? Um, I think it, would dog, it was Dog On. Definitely, definitely <laughs> Dog On. Actually, I'm sort of torn between Dog On and Pulaski because it, like Pulaski had the weird covering over it. Yeah. I feel like I kind of have to like de-shell it. They, they make you work for it. Once you dug under the cover, and I feel like we let it like get cold. Like I feel like the covering wasn't hard when it <laughs> got there. That was our fault. Who had the best like extra side? I feel like um, Butt Hut. I'm sort of torn between Butt Hut and Doggone because Doggone had some really good collards, even though you don't really like collards. And then Butt Hut had like really good corn nuggets, so. Also, I think it's kind of unfair to Pulaski because we were both kind of not into cauliflower, yeah. but they were recommended to us. So it was just kind of like, oh. Though I was talking to my friend and she said she really loves the cauliflower. Okay. So if you're a cauliflower person, you know, go for it. Who had the best banana pudding? Doggone. Doggone. <laughs> so good. Like, I mean, we ate like all the other ones, of course, but like, really, we kind of probably finished off the, the doggone banana pudding. Yeah, I was licking the bowl. Like, <laughs> it was really, really good banana pudding. And this is a banana hater. I like it. Who do you think had the best sauces? Um, I think Butt Hut. Yeah, I think they actually, I would, I think they all had their own merits to the sauces. Like, I feel like Pulaski sauces definitely had the best aesthetic appeal. Yeah, and they were unique. Yeah, like, they were unique, and then they, they came in the, the fancy labeled glass bottles. As you just kind of get yeah. out. <laughs> That's exactly how it is. <laughs> and then, like, Butt Hut had a really good variation. Um, I think Butt Hut and Doggone both did. 
but butt had had like a really good vinegar sauce that just blew every other sauce out of the water at every restaurant and then i think doggone also had like a really good variation and their hot sauces were the best overall favorite <sighs> i would probably say my favorite was doggone yeah i agree my favorite was definitely doggone because had like, the best value yeah definitely the best it was the cheapest and like the food was really really good all the sides were good the sandwich was good quality the people were really nice it like had a good atmosphere like i feel like pulaski and butt hut both had their areas of like greatness but overall dog on it to me was the best experience we have reached the final countdown alex soto decided to create a year in review montage so let's take a trip down memory lane shall we so I love it, I love it, love it, I love it, love it, I love it. So I love it, I love it, love it, I love it, love it, I love it. So I love it, I love it, love it, I love it, love it, I love it. I love it. My name is Jocelyn Clark. And I'm Maya Jordan. And, and this, this has been WJAG TV with your weekly school news.